welcome back we will start with lesson 2 social science this chapter talks about understanding government refer page 20 to 22 have you understood what government is what government mean first thing now i'll give you a definition what's a government the definition of government is government is a group of people who are working together governs a community or public policy or administers the people suppose what it does for people then can you imagine a world without a government a country without a government suppose if there is no rules and laws people may fight with each other people may have quarrel they undergo some uh, laws without knowingly they don't follow the rules so there should be an organ to function and make the people follow everything so that there would be total confusion if each person decided to do what he or she wanted without bothering about the rest of the society to live in a community peacefully and fruitfully human beings need some rules and laws they need to be governed now you might have understood what is government now let's know in detail how it functions as just now i spoke to you government sought to protect rights of unorganized workers government fixes prices on of onions say no shortage in the market so every government needs to make decisions and get things to be done these can be decisions about where to build roads and schools or how to reduce the price of onions now you can see here a picture there is if there is no power in the village a child studying under a lamp so who is fulfilling their needs a child who is thirst third i mean he is thirsty he is not finding water to fill, fulfill his thirsty who will fulfill them the government to fulfill all these needs the government is necessary now let's know in detail the meaning of government the word government comes from the latin word g u b e r n a r e gubernare which means a person to control a country or guide or rule a society or a country in every society there's a person or group of people whose commands the rest of the community has to obey this body is called government of the country let's further in detail how it works it does the government does other important things such as running postals railways and other services perhaps you are wondering how government manages to do all this why it is necessary for them to do so when human beings live and work together there needs to be some amount of organization so that decisions can be made i'll give you a few examples how it ensures how government affects our daily life government ensures to make schools so that most of the children can study government makes hospitals which treat patient 
either free of cost or at nor nominal cost in case of natural calamity government provides relief to affected people yes why do you think then the government needs to make some rules for everyone then let's know laws are needed to ensure people can lead a normal life without being disturbed by others laws also ensure that nobody is able to disturb the life of another without due reasons to understand this let us take a simple example of the traffic rule that every vehicle must stop at the red signal if nobody will stop at red signal it will result in chaos means confusion when to move when not to move it can totally confusion on the road it obstructs each other now let's see in the next video the main theme of understanding government and the meaning of government or when there is no government what happens to the situations in the next video let's see Margaret Gallagher lives in the thatched cottage in which she was born in 1942. She has no electricity, running water or television. She goes to bed when it gets dark and rises with the sun. Some regard her 280-year-old grade-A listed cottage near Belcou in Fermanagh as a living museum and a preservation of a way of life that might otherwise have been lost or forgotten. Margaret is passionate about heritage and in her efforts to promote it, she welcomes a wide range of visitors through the door of this unique example of vernacular architecture where she still draws water from the well and bakes in a pot oven on the open fire. I was born into the cottage. I lived with my mother and father and my sister here. My home has three rooms, an upper room um, taken from the Bible where our Lord met his guests in the upper room. The under room where I sleep, the dumping room, and the kitchen. The kitchen is the lifeblood of the house because it hosts a fire. And without a fire on the hearth all the time, the creosote-like coating of soot on the timbers would melt, the timbers would wilt, and the roof would come in on top of Margaret. The first coat of thatch is in evidence on the roof and it was flax and the thatchers were all local because all the houses were thatched hence you had a uh, supply of thatchers and that time the arrival of a thatcher was like uh, akin to royalty arriving because they came with all their accoutrements the build up of thatch is first of all you have the timbers which are original bog oak then you have the um, leafy branches of an alder tree uh, they are called wattles um, W.B. Yeats talked a bit of clay and wattle made and he knew what he was talking about. Uh, next to that you have scrolls, which are large sods of vulgar earth. They sit on top of the wattles. Then you have the first coat of thatch and you have the scallop, which is a bent hairpin lake, goes in, hammered in through the, the thatch into the scroll and that holds it.